In today's video, I'm gonna be diving into how we generate high quality leads for our real estate clients. We've developed a great strategy and we have a great system. Make sure you watch the entire video so you can start implementing some of this stuff yourself in your own social media marketing agency. So let's get into it. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It's been a while and it hurts. The consistency hurts. I was planning on being extremely consistent throughout the entire year, but traveling made it quite literally impossible. I was coming home for three or four days, packing up and going somewhere else. Uh, it was a great time, but honestly it was a lot and it did hurt to not be consistent because that was my number one goal was just to, you know, no matter the outcome of anything, just be consistent with everything. So. I'm a little bit rattled about that, but live and you learn and just gotta move forward. So I'm planning for the second half of 2023 to be extremely consistent, extremely dialed. I don't have as much plans as far as traveling goes. So I should be able to stay on top of things. Even when I am traveling, I should have had better time management and been able to plan things accordingly. So uh, I can, you know, finish filming, but lesson learned so I can do things differently come next time if I have back-to-back -back trips and whatnot. But I appreciate you if you're a returning subscriber coming to watch another video. If you're new here, do me a favor. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I believe we're at like 2,500 or 2,600. So quite literally only you guys watching this video can make that happen. Click that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below some other videos you'd like to see or what I could potentially talk about to help you on your journey and help you scale your social media marketing agency. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how we generate the highest quality possible leads for our real estate clients and sort of what we go through as far as split testing and different strategies, different things we do to try and get better and better results instead of just running one campaign, one creative, one copy, open targeting of the city, you know, Toronto, Montreal, wherever it is uh, that the real estate client is located. So let's get into some of these phases, some of these tips, some of these tricks and some of these hacks right now. So let's just say to keep things simple, we're on a basic package. We're just advertising on Instagram and Facebook and our minimum ad spend is $20 a day. So that'd be $600 a month. So that's the rules that we're gonna comply with. That would be our basic package. So the first step is the phase one of split testing. What we do is we use our best copy that on average usually performs the best. That would be the copywriting, the primary text, the headline. And then we split test four different creatives on a $10 a day budget on each ad set. So we don't use campaign budget optimization or whatever the hell it's called now. We don't use that because I personally don't like it. If you're running a campaign and one of the ads immediately gets a lead, it'll basically shut off the other ads even if it's spent only like 30 cents, a dollar. You need to spend more than that to actually figure out if the creative is gonna work. So what we do is we split test from the ad set. We'll do $10 a day, $10 a day, $10 a day, $10 a day. We'll have all the same copy, all the same targeting. Everything's the exact same. We just use different creatives. So we'll let this run for about four to five days. I usually like to spend around $70 on each campaign to really figure out what creatives are working the best. And that will be phase one where we're just trying to see what's going to get the best click through rate, what's going to get the best cost per lead. And then we jump into phase two. So phase two is going to be split testing different copies and different offers in the primary text. So, Let's say after the first phase, you figured out what creative is working, awesome. Now you use all the same creatives, you do the exact same thing, four different ad sets, all the same creatives, now different primary texts and different copies. And that'll be our phase two of split testing. And all you're honestly looking at here is the click-through rate and the cost per lead. Those are the only two metrics that really matter when you're split testing these things. It's just, okay, this cost per lead's better, this click-through rate is better with this, with this primary text. And that's basically what you're gonna be looking at. And that's what we do in phase two. So now we got our creative, we know what creative is performing good, we know what copy is performing good, and now we go into phase three of split testing. So what we do in phase three is we use the same creative, same copy. Once again, we have four different ad sets. 
And now we're gonna split test different offers and different texts in the headline. So I, I call it an offer because the headline's basically at the offer or the call to action, whatever it is that you wanna call it. We'll do four different headlines. We'll let that run for four to five days, see what works, see what's better, get, getting the best click-through rate, getting the best cost per lead. Now, just so you guys know in the real estate niche and the mortgage niche, typically all of my campaigns, a good campaign is $10 and under. $10 being the absolute max for a cost per lead. Anything under that is considered good in my eyes. Now, everyone's different. I don't know how you guys or other people run their campaigns, but that's just what I look for personally. Now, a click-through rate, I'm looking for 5% or above. That's a good click-through rate. So if you guys wanna use my metrics and base your campaigns off of that, go for it or go watch some other real estate guru. I really don't care. So that's phase three of split testing. We figure out the headlines. Now we got our creative, we got our primary text, and we got our headline. Now phase four of split testing, we do a little bit of detailed targeting I guess you can't really do a whole lot on Facebook and Instagram, but what we do is we switch up the radius. So we'll do like 15 miles, 20 miles, 25, and then 30. And out of that, we'll see sort of what's working the best. And then awesome, we got a campaign and an ad set, an ad that's performing really, really well. We allocate the $20 a day strictly to that campaign. And then we watch over it because the click-through rate might just plummet at the start of the month and we have to change up the creative, that's fine. Now you're just gonna change things here and there, but overall you figured out a campaign that's performing decently well. So that's the first thing that we do, and that's kind of how we figure out a dialed in campaign and what's gonna work for them, their area, and overall what's gonna get, you, get them the best cost per lead. While all this is happening, say it takes a month to go through all these different phases of split testing, we also run video campaigns. What we do is we create a custom audience of all users that watch three seconds of this video ad. Now, if we're not running a video ad, what we do is we place a pixel and a tracking code on the landing page as well, because a part of our strategy is we get these individuals to fill out an instant form, then we redirect them to our landing page, and we track all the users that visit that landing page, and we track all the users that watch their video ad. So now what we can do is we can create a custom audience of users that are already familiar with the realtor, they've already seen one of their ads, or they've already been to one of their landing pages, they know more about them, they're a higher quality custom audience, let's say the audience is 2,500 people, so what we do is we create new ads on Instagram and Facebook that they've never seen before. We run a very small campaign budget because we're hitting a very small audience and we retarget that custom audience with a really dialed in scripted ad that we know is gonna try and convert them the most because they've already shown some level of interest. Now, another custom audience that we make depending on the realtor's social media presence online, if they have a good following and they're consistently posting, they post some reels, what you can do is you can create a custom audience of their organic audience that they've built on Facebook and Instagram. So you can actually create an audience of all their video viewers, people engaging with their page, following them. So we create an audience like that and we also retarget that audience with new advertisements. And that's kind of how we get higher quality leads. We're hitting a higher quality audience. So now we tell them, hey, listen, your social media and your brand is working them on the front end and you're being nice essentially, you're offering free value, you're not selling them anything, you're just providing value to them. But little do they know as soon as they follow you or visit your page or see a video or like a video, they get thrown into your custom audience in the back end and now they're getting retargeted with ads 24 seven. So that's what we do to sort of get higher quality leads, hit different custom audiences, and overall just not running one simple campaign. So now I'm not diving deep into these systems and showing you them on my screen, I'm just kind of going over the overall process and what it is that happens. So let's say a lead comes in, they fill out a survey, they fill out a form. We obviously have follow-up automation set up like text messages, emails, and all that fun stuff uh, that are specific for each individual column that they're in or where they are in their pipeline. We're constantly working on those, constantly developing, constantly innovating, uh, coming up with new emails, new text messages, and stuff like that. The number one way to convert a lead and the number one way to book an appointment is by calling the individual. So we have two ISAs that are trained in-house we're constantly getting on calls every single week to make them better and better, taking feedback from the agents, how to disqualify people, new questions to ask, what makes the calls better, being energetic in the call even if you're down and it's just your job. Make sure you're bringing the energy, you're, you're excited, you're gonna make the other person on the phone feel excited about the process and they're excited that you're excited to talk to them. So overall, we're constantly training the salespeople to book as many appointments as we possibly can for these realtors so they can do their job put them on a custom search or start showing them homes or go give them a home evaluation, whatever it may be. So like I said, I'm not gonna dive into the whole process, but 
I think personally, the only way to succeed in this service is by definitely having either an outsourced ISA team call these individuals or have someone in-house or even yourself for your, for your very first client, call these individuals yourself so you can try and book appointments for the realtor. Now we're not always doing that because it's a lot more expensive. So our basic package, the realtors will call, I'll get on calls with them, sort of train them and say, hey, you know, you should be doing this, doing that. And this is how you can potentially book more appointments. But overall, that's sort of the process and what goes into getting the highest quality possible leads and getting the most value from advertising on Instagram and Facebook specifically. Obviously our strategies on our platforms like YouTube and TikTok are totally different than what we're doing on there. If you'd like to see a video on what we do on YouTube, the split testing and stuff like that, um, drop a comment down below, like the video, subscribe. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Only you can make that happen. Please help me out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.